Welcome to the show, everybody. You're listening to the I Am Real Estate Show with Ray Smith, Sandra Johnson, and Danielle Johnson. On the show today, we have our designated broker and founder and CEO of Indie Realty, Don Geisler. But just before we talk a little bit about Don Geisler, we have some good news we'd like to pass on, everyone, is that the I Am Real Estate Show is moving to a different time slot. The time slot is when, Sandra? It's Saturday at 11 a.m., right after center stage you guys liked my timing so much you decided to uh jump on the bandwagon so now you get to listen to us saturday mornings for <laughs> quite a while it'll be lots of fun you're, right, you're taking your kids over to do soccer or football or basketball practice and they're out there in the hot sun go in the car start listening to us on the radio so you get a chance to listen to us while your kid is you know, doing their workout <laughs> with that being said we're back with uh our, D, our, sorry, our designated broker and CEO of Indie Realty, Don Geisler. How you doing today, Don? Uh, doing great. Happy to be here. Thanks for having me, as always. You know me. I'm always going to ask some crazy questions. So how the how was the inventory in July 2023? Inventory in the market. Well, I'm, I think uh, we're seeing a little bit that sellers are a little bit more hesitant to put houses on the market. Uh, inventory is down, um, coming on the market a little bit more slowly, but... Uh, that being said, they are coming on the market. There's a lot out there, and I think that there are a lot of stories to be told in in the data that we see. Uh-huh. You know, um, for for example, I I was looking at a chart, and it had on here that a, d- a data point that we have for July 2023. Uh, this is from our MLS that I pulled up today. Was that um, new listings over the course of the past 12 months there were 20,444 new listings that entered the MLS you know over the course could, of the could you remind past everybody months. and that's in the Tucson in the Pima County area right it, yeah it's a Tucson uh you know southern Arizona yeah so it's, you know it's just not this is not nationwide this is very local right it's okay. just our it's just our locality our Tucson metropolitan you know major market our MLS there's numbers for the entire MLS and, you know, just like anybody else, I looked at the graph, um, the chart that the Doomsday Media really likes. And, and it's uh, just a, a line chart. Right. And it shows two years ago and, you know, pretty, and then one year in, pretty consistent. The line just stays straight um, with new listings coming on the market. And then over the last year, it just absolutely drops off a cliff. So, over the course of three years, that line graph looks like straight, straight, and then off a cliff. Wow. And so if you just look at it at a glance, right, it feels very doom and gloom. It feels scary. It feels like the world is ending. Well, then you take a closer look at the chart, and yeah, there's been a drop, and it's significant. It's 19% drop. But the top of the chart is 25,000 new listings, and the bottom of the chart is 20,000. <laughs> so it doesn't drop down to zero. Right. You know, it's just, it's a 20% spread that, yes, it has dropped down. But, I mean, you, you just have to be careful when you're looking at, at some of the stats. And and uh, it's certainly not as doom and gloomy as it's made to feel out there. Yeah. I, and I think part of the um, downturn is that people aren't sure where they're going to go. And so they may be a little bit more hesitant to put their house on the market. They might be ready to sell, but they're just not sure where they're going to go. And we've seen that for for some time now. I, yeah, it's true. I mean, and definitely, you know, sellers are buyers too. They, right. they have to go somewhere and they want to find a house that they fall in love with just mm-hmm. as much as anybody out there. So, um, yeah, I mean, when um, there's a lot of different facets to what uh, pushes people into a little bit of hesitation of jumping on the market. But, you know, I like this. We were having a little bit of chat, you know, before we went on and, you know, the active homes, active homes for sale right now in our MLS, they're a little bit, they're over 2,500. And that's low. I mean, I've seen, I've seen it be 14,000, <laughs> you know, so, but there's a little over 2,500 and that's a very, very lean inventory. Mm-hmm. And so we were chatting and you're like, well, what do you like about that number? Right? Well, so here's what I like about it. So right now there are 2,500, give or take active homes for sale, active listings in the MLS. Okay. Well, like I just said, over the course of the past three years, this is the number of homes that have gone on to the MLS for sale. 2021, 24,886. Uh, 2022, 25,315. Uh, and then 2023, 20,444. 
So we're talking about 70,000 homes over the past three years have gone on the MLS, and there's still only 2,500. Why? Because they sell. That's you right. Know, our market is brisk, and it's active, and there's a lot of interest in Tucson, a lot of value in real estate, you know, the, the same reasons that have always been valid for people to buy and, and own their home uh, still exist. You know, now, if we had added 20,000 homes a year over the past three years and we were sitting at 60,000 active listings, I'd be worried. Right. So yeah. if there's someone who's listening in and they're kind of on the fence about whether or not it's the right time for them to sell, what would you tell them? You know, this sounds really cliche because I'm, I'm, I'm in the industry, but, you know, your, your life is not on hold because of external factors. There's always a great reason to have bought. You can always find reasons to, or to, to have sold. And you can always find great reasons to do so or to not do so. Right. You know, but our life keeps on going on. And the families grow or, or people move out and leave the nest and, and just things happen. And, or we want to upgrade or we want to downside for whatever reason. Our life goes on. And as you can tell by the, the numbers, it has continued to go on. I mean, we look at 2020, which was a catastrophic year, not in real estate by any means, right. but we not all felt like estate. life itself <laughs> was a great big catastrophe, but the numbers were still just, it, it, there's never been just a more clear picture of the fact that life keeps going on. And so grab yourself a super high quality professional, you know, to help you track down the right deal, get your home sold for the price you want, find your new home at the price you want. And we still get things done. That's we just keep getting things done. What I'm saying with the numbers is that there are a lot of factors that people aren't realizing that are changing things. One of them is renters. The second one is people are now working from home, and the third one is Tucson is now a destination spot. Tucson is very much a destination spot, and and we always have that going for us. In that, no matter what is going on um, in the in the economy in mm -hmm. the macro picture. Tucson is always going to be one of those locations that people have, you know, highlighted as a place where they want to end up, you know, re regardless of where they're at in the in the country. We've had a couple hot months, you know, but the articles that I've seen, because, you know, just like anybody else, I see all the doom and gloom, is that, quote, 65 million people across the country have suffered with extreme heat this year. So it's not like it's just us. It's right. like kind of hot a couple times, <laughs> a couple times a year, you know, but... You know, for the most part, we don't deal with a lot of the major, you know, ecological issues, you know, weather issues that people deal with across the country. So, you know, if you can be hot for two and a half, three months a year, you really get to cash in for the, on the rest of the year. Yeah, I think people see the, the weather issues and they're like, whoa, it's hot over there. But then when they're going through winter. We're just calming down and relaxing. We're enjoying the, the barbecues on the grill and everything Tops like that. Tops down on the convertible. Yeah. yeah. We, we, we lead a pretty darn good life here. We're heading to the break right now. You're listening to the I Am Real Estate Show with Don Geisler, who is the CEO and designated broker for Indie Realty. We also want to remind you guys that uh, we'll be moving. Our show is moving from Friday, Sunday at 3, three until <laughs> we'll be on Saturdays at 11 a.m. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. I didn't know what time was. I knew it sometime in my life.